Hey, it's that time of the year. Hey, it's me, Josiah, and welcome to day one of season three of Coco Summer. What is Coco Summer, you may ask? Well, I started it way back in 2020, during the pandemic, actually, where I tried a, an assortment of hot chocolates and hot cocos every day. And I did it last year with some nice upgrades. And this year, I plan to, you know, largely do the same and try out new and different avenues. So, of course, as you probably saw in my story before, if you're on Instagram, I do post Suggestion Saturdays, which is coming up in two days. So if you want to suggest anything before tomorrow, you guys will be able to vote on Friday and whatever wins the vote, we'll all try on Saturday. So, cool beans. Anywho, on to the hot chocolate of the day. So for those of you at Carlton, especially my roommates, you know that I, I'm a, I'm a coffee connoisseur. I like my coffee. And this year, almost every day, I would wake up around 7.10ish, 7.20, and I would make some coffee. And the way I made it is through this thing, uh, through the French press. So I thought it'd be fitting to continue my French press adventures with uh, hot chocolate and trying to see how well it works. So something like that. I'm still getting used to it. I finished the hot chocolate, as you can see, or I guess it's hot cocoa now. As you saw, it was a struggle. It was a <laughs> struggle. Uh, none of the blenders worked, so we had to uh, change tactics real quick. But as far as appearance, it looks a lot lighter um, than like the average hot chocolate, right? Like froths the milk, so it allows it to really give it, hopefully, this light texture. So. Let's see. Wow. Ooh, that is really light. Really, really light. That is really good. So on the top of it, it actually has this like airy, foamy texture. And this texture, like, ooh, it's so good. But then the cocoa from underneath, the lick, like the more of the liquid like comes in and like that mixture of really delicate texture mixing in with the rich cocoa. Whew, it is one of the best cocos I've ever had. Well, as those of you may know, I um, rate each hot chocolate through a ranking of 10 Christmas reads. This time I'll try to be a little bit more consistent, but I think I would have to give this one, I'm giving it an eight out of 10 Christmas wreaths. Um, I gotta leave some room for like things that go way, way above and beyond, but, and it deserves it. It fully deserves it. Well, I think that covers it for today. Um, <laughs> a little bit of a chaotic episode, but you're gonna have some chaotic episodes. And 
know. I hope you enjoyed. Again, thank you for watching. Go check out Saturday Suggestions poll. Um, fill it out with any suggestion. And as always, stay cocoa, my friends.